Alice Hiragi is your senpai. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no. Everyone's senpai but yours. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. I think this is what would bring me back here. I suppose so. Even though it's only been about half a year. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. It's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious? Why are you still alive? <sighs> do us a favor. And die already. Also changed. As these prison cells. No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. You should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Let's read the enemy's movements and respond in time. Your face is me off. Why won't you just go up and die for us? Mine. Falling up! Joker got his follow-up attack! 
do it. Come, take this. Gotta exploit those weaknesses. Whoa, that was sweet. Yeah. Strike. Oh, <laughs> 
that rumbling the birdcage in the jail is now unlocked we will be able to access it for real it appears our most recent target held the key in other words we defeated the warden guarding the key a warden in Alice's memories a key to the cage in her jail so a different shadow held the key not Alice's what are you going on about uh, oh nothing I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll praise you all you want later got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... If you guys are all up for it... I want to rescue Alice, too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. 
That is very similar to Palace Generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. Don't speak too soon. I'm really gonna lay into her for all this. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, we just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Hey. In other news, Akira Konoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with... Hey, look. Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back.
Come on, come on! Let's go. One. Time to change Alice's heart. Let's go. Man, it's times like these I know I'm supposed to be the best. should give us a straight shot to the birdcage of desire. Our standard palace procedures wouldn't work. All right, Skull. Get to home. Uh, no. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, what do we do now? How do you steal something like that? I admit, I don't know either. What's that? It's her! Alice. So... It's a fight after all. Oh dear. You thought you'd just sneak in like that. And what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires? Hey you! Joker, right? Did you come back to me so you could be mine? seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The Phantom Thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. The Kamaki san you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic. What a mess. That doesn't matter now. With this power, I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! And now, I'm gonna make you mine! All mine! Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date! Come along! Come along! I have such 
wonders to show you. What wonders? Ignore her, Sophie. She just wants to torture us. Alice, I'm gonna make you see the light. Let's go. Pixie, do you happen to be Davy? What?
Perhaps I should be taking note. <laughs>
Just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? <sighs> I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki-san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. <sighs> and I tried so hard to change, but I was still made fun of, still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and work to get so far. But then, she showed up again and started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her. Her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. And that still wasn't enough for me. It wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding. I'll destroy every single one of them. Alice. So this is a wound in a heart. <laughs> this power lets me get revenge. So I... You became the bully, right? You idiot. What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> Don't give up because of those selfish bastards! Uh, Takamaki-san. You're right. I wanted to rescue them. All the people like me, going through the same thing. But I... <sighs> you think so? Takamaki-san, I... I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things, but thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? You want to be... really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I'll go back now, where I belong. This time, I'm gonna be...
was effing amazing! Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. I hope that means their real-life counterparts are returning to normal. Yes, you're right. Wait, what the...? What is it, Mona-chan? Something's wrong. It's not collapsing! But the giant desire blew up! Like... No. Just look around. Now that you mention it... Whenever we stole a treasure, we'd have to leave the metaverse entirely, right? Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. So, if the monarch is toppled, and the desires are all returned, the jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this jail, after all. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but no one shares memories with their shadows. Think she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah! You two could really hit it off! She did say that she loves her. <laughs> yeah... I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help her, but I at least want to be there for her. Fascinating. What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human... because they can change. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Just when you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. The human heart is indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. You got it, Skull. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, Skull. Do you really get it? say we head back now. I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah, <laughs> let's get going. with Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. 
Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes. I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. <laughs> Miss Alice... And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and... and I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... It hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... The Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! You have to stand by! Alice. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of I want my money back. Well, you sure can't help him there. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others. Even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. What's up? How's it hanging, folks? Ah, you again, Gramps? Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's... accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the Phantom Thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What 
bullshit. What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. As in the person controlling Alice behind the scenes. The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it, but... Gramps is sane. It's probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there, too? Then what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man would be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? <sighs> what other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? I think that'd be wisest. Wait, even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. But, but the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? <sighs> it seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Wait, really? Mako-chan! Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. See, a jail full of shadows, with a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? If you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? Where to, exactly? So, are you gonna answer me, or...? This isn't real. Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa, what happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, 
Just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait, who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... what? Chill out, Zenkiji. You've got to keep yourself together. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't be losing my shit like... Monster Cat! I am not a monster cat! I am Morgana! Do you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just has to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi! Huh? Oh, right. Right! Get it together. This cat said my name! Wait, were you that monster cat from that place? It's the monster cat! I'm not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. Good. I look forward to working together. In that case, I'm gonna cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry! Okay. 
you didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. <sighs> and buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah, sushi for me. Oh dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yeah, it reminds me of the MetaNav. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Mediz. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts, or something. <sighs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their ruler's cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so... We're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage! Yeah! Only the Phantom Thieves can do it! Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up! If that's the plan, maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right! We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? Hmm. 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 Uh, guess? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Ooh, check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. For real? 
by scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... Hell yeah! <laughs> I am psyched! All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we could have deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. ride that could fit all of you. Weren't you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. How it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please. Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes. Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So consider it. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are you all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes, we've all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah, we gotcha. A camper? This is turning into some kind of coming-of-age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? No worries, the boys are all sleeping on the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. Uh, yeah. These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. Nice scores, Ankichi! Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration, hmm? Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires? Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity. Either her smartphone usage in general, or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Uh, one thing at a time. 
This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkichi said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. Hey, you guys still together? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Yo. What? Whoa. Beautiful. It's true. 